Good morning, here's Inter Geo TV 2024 from Stuttgart. Welcome everybody and these are our expert interviews here live from our InterGeo TV studios right now with Dr. Jefim Stilkin. He's an account executive for Autodesk Water in the Dach region. So welcome Jefim. Yeah, thanks for having me here. Yes, very happy to join here. And yeah, great atmosphere. Yeah, thanks. we just kicked off. So what do you think? What will be the experience? What do you expect? Oh, last year I was in Berlin. This was great one. Great experience, great uh, ex uh, interaction with the many, many, actually around the world, the people, experienced people coming to Berlin first, come to Berlin, now to Stuttgart. I, I newly come, but I would say I already make it around and I smell technology is already there. So Autodesk is well known in the geospatial industry. This year you brought a new, a new um, product or new um, direction from Autodesk to Intergeo. It's the water section. And uh, yeah, so how does Autodesk, first of all, affect the geospatial industry? But um, what changes are you aiming to drive? Very good question, very good question. Because first, uh, you're, when you hear Autodesk, you never think about water. Autodesk, water, how it should work. Yeah, but now for for few years, I would say two years or three years, we acquired a very well-known software company which specializes in the water industry. And based on the, what we see around now, uh, combined with climate change, yeah, this is influence. Seeing that, we see the value, and that's why we are also integrating now these products in our portfolio. And for example, we speak about uh, uh, geospatial data context is always plays an important role for example in our case now we're in Stuttgart yeah and uh, having conversation here would we be in Munich maybe I would stay in the Lederhosen yeah therefore in this case this special context play an important role and this data also because Autodesk is known for design manufacturing and also beam models but without the context our clients need this context that's why we are going deeper and starting this uh, interaction between the different these products. Yeah, absolutely. And climate change is a huge topic at this year's Intergeo. And uh, uh, of course, climate change is in intensifying the need for um, water management strategies. Mm -hmm. And um, which um, this seems to be, of course, the focus this year of Autodesk. So what innovations is Autodesk bringing to the table in terms of flood protection and water management? Mm -hmm. That's, I would say, it's not only this year. Yeah, we already, as I said, for example, this uh, company Innova is called. They were on the market already more than 30 years, uh, supporting the clients in the water supply, biggest water supplies world, around the world, using Innova, is creating digital twins based on these solutions. Another very good example, flood warning systems in Tasmania or now in Turkey. Very good examples. And uh, now we are keen to bring this also, for example, this technology to the Germany. Yeah, I was last week in the Dresden, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, some parts of the city were closed. And I was, this some kind of motivated me, it's okay, we can change it. We have technology, we can change it. Mm -hmm. So can you um, elaborate on how Autodesk is helping water pro professionals transition from the traditional methods um, to advanced digital technologies? Here's, yeah, in the conversation with the clients, yeah, we see different type of clients. Some of them still using Excel tables. For some questions, yeah, for example, design cyber network, it can be enough. But uh, looking back 10 years yeah, uh, in the water industry, maybe it was feasible. This was good solution, good enough. But new challenges that is, are coming, for example, fast growing cities, population in the Berlin, other big cities in the Germany, then also the, what we see also in the manufacturing sector, that the capacities, production capacities moving from China to Europe, all these will change our water supply. And here this need, we need new solutions and that's what we have in our portfolio. Yeah? These solutions will help to make our water supply in Germany or in the whole Europe more climate resilient. Another big partner here um, at Intergeo, of course, is ESRI. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, can you discuss how Autodesk partnership with ESRI is driving sustainability in uh, infrastructure projects? Oh, yeah, that is very good. Uh, I would say one of the, our biggest partners in this uh, context. And um, 
if we look at, uh, again, Autodesk, there's this BIM, and uh, again, we come into this uh, context of uh, geospatial, and they're very good, uh, their solution ArcGIS, for example, for visualization uh, of the data. And for example, we have a very good solution, InfoWater Pro, InfoWater Pro, which allows you to simulate or uh, model water supply networks, yeah, without actually extracting any data. Because many water supplies, they have their own assets, all data stored in the S3 solutions. And through this native connection, they save lots of time. That makes um, uh, the interaction between the solution, between the engineering groups, more efficient. Okay. So you're talking about um, the, the partnerships, also you will also address public-private partnerships. Mm -hmm. And um, could you say, share with us some key insights on how these partnerships um, are addressing the water-related challenges? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, I will have, I think, a later presentation tomorrow about this in more details. Mm -hmm. I will deep dive in this one. But I would like to call it maybe, yeah, it's known as a partnership, but I would call, because we are software developers, we are looking from the perspective software, and I would call it ecosystem. And here, if you look in the water supply or the water management in Germany, yeah, we are investing a lot. I think uh, less data is around between 2.5 or 3 billion. We invest every year in the water supply networks. Huge amount of money, but still it's not enough. What we see in the different regions, for example, in Saxony or in Berlin, again, it's not enough. Therefore, we see need for additional investments. Also, the private sector can bring experience. They're very knowledgeable. They understand. They have very unique experience, I would say. Therefore, we see huge advantage in starting this collaboration. First, private, um, public, and also for other players, the ins insurance, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how we see what we can bring on the table, what's our technology, actually. That's a cloud-based uh, solution that will allow or make easier these interactions between all the stakeholders mm -hmm. on a regional scale. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. So let's dive at this point a bit deeper into the technology or the software, mm -hmm. because um, at any place you can hear AI, the integration yeah. of artificial intelligence into yeah, the solutions, infrastructure, and so on. So um, how is Autodesk incorporating AI into its BIM and GIS solutions? Yeah, the, auto, the uh, AI is everywhere. Yeah, everyone knows Chip, ChatGPT, yeah. And uh, Autodesk clearly sees this potential and also tries to get value, to generate value for the clients based on that. Therefore, I would say here we have now two directions, two groups. One of the solutions have potential where we see very good basis. For example, with uh, InfoWorks ICM, yeah, it allows to simulate thousands of scenarios very fast and that creates actually basis for AI in the future. Another solutions we have, for example, uh, um, in cooperation with WEPA, which allows, for example, to assess the cyber network, condition of cyber network automatically. That saves lots of time for our clients. Yeah? And last one, I would say, for example, also, let's say in the cyber network, we speak about the infotrange solution. Here, it allows also very fast get understanding how you, or what type of scenario are best for you. Very fast, very yeah, effective. Yeah, very interesting and fascinating transition that is actually happening. So um, uh, zooming um, out a bit, we see many companies are moving towards cloud solutions for better collaborations. How is Autodesk facilitating these transitions for its users? Cloud, yeah, it's just, uh, especially in Europe. I think that's a very sensitive theme. For example, first uh, in the foreground is the stands, the security. And for us, this is always the top priority. That's the security of our clients, data for the security of our clients. The second, but we see um, the cloud is the future, definitely. What we spoke about before, the public or private ecosystem. Or because the systems are big, uh, getting bigger, complexer, and they need collaboration between all these stakeholders. And in my opinion, it's only solution is the cloud. The cloud is the only solution. Exactly. 
Wow, so many insights this morning. I hope you enjoy <laughs> interview. Thank you for the deep dive. And Dr. Yefim Stürkin, enjoy your time yep. here. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for your interesting question. Yeah, on conversation. This. Thank you. So bye.